My father is rich in houses and lands. He holdeth the wealth of the world in his hands, of rubies and diamonds, of silver and gold. His coffers are full. He has riches untold. That's my father. So what am I complaining about? Look at mangoes on the tree. Huh? When is that one fruit is the other? See, Aki tree is empty. It was full. Huh? See the guinea tree over there? Soon be blossoming so that we can have guinea. Look at this mangoes. We call these mangoes here in St. James. Green Gage or Clander. Other persons in other parts of the parish, of the country, in other parishes, they call it blacky. Look at it. Look at it. What am I complaining about? Huh? What am I complaining about? Tell me. What are you complaining about? Stop the complaining. Stop the complaining and be content with what you have. Be content with what you have, people. Let me tell you something, man. God is an awesome God. He is an awesome God. He knows how to give good gifts to his children. He knows what measure we can have and take. He knows what measure to give. Stop the complaining and enjoy this beautiful scenery of the Caribbean Sea. Caribbean Blue Sea. Stop the complaining. Let us be content with what we have. Many people don't have anything at all. If you want to complain, go to the hospital and get something to complain about. Hi everybody, my YouTube friends, family, well-wishers, everybody, how you all doing? It's Auntie Pauline this morning. Wow, the time is... It's bleaky. As a matter of fact, the rain is falling. It's drizzling down right now. It has fall, um, fell earlier and now it's drizzling, but we still have the bleakness. But I just want to praise the name of Jesus. In good times, he is awesome. In bad times, he is excellent because Whatever our situation, whatever time we find ourselves in, God is in control. So he is an excellent God. Yes, he is an excellent God. He brought bring me to work this morning and I am so grateful for his grace and his mercies. He has granted me journey in mercies and all the others who have reached work. I just want you to praise the name of the Lord. No accident, no incident. All right, speaking of accident, you know, I almost saw one yesterday. I saw the after effect, you know. I, the, I saw the, the police vehicles and the other vehicles with those persons, injured persons rushing. We have to give them way, rushing to the hospital. But I went on the scene where the accident happened and it wasn't a good sight. I pray to God that he will touch down in that hospital and touch all those persons who got hurt and even those who are still there who were there before who are hurting I pray God that he will touch them with his holy hands of healing release them from the pain no matter what you are going through no matter the type of person you are Jesus loves you he just hate the sin he don't he loves the sinner but he hate the sin so let us look in our lives and realize that God has spared us for a purpose so this morning I want to as I mentioned purpose let me tell you something man let us be content with what we have and stop complaining stop the complaining because those persons in that accident yesterday right now they would be happy if they are here if they were out and about doing their work they would be happy so if you want something to complain about just go by the hospitals go by the infirmaries go by the prison houses go by the um wherever the sick are the less fortunate are and see for yourself what complaint is about 
okay be happy in whatever situation you find yourself in be glad that you are alive because while you have life you have hope okay while there is life there is hope and this morning i am rejoicing and i hope you are rejoicing with me because i have life not because i have money because i don't have money i don't have money i have life and while i li have life i there is hope all right so this morning i just want to tell somebody just for a brief moment to stop complaining it's difficult to be around someone who is always complaining very difficult never satisfied with life yeah man in fact most people try to avoid them um avoid them altogether you know sometimes you ask somebody how are you doing this morning boy i'm sick my head hurt me all about me in a pain me not have nothing to eat me not this why are you complaining so much Take those time to praise God because you have life and everything else will come after. All right? So quit complaining. Most people try to avoid those persons altogether because it is emotionally draining to hear someone constantly whining, whining. Oh, nothing is ever, nothing is ever good enough. And they find fault with everything and everyone. Do you believe that? Yes, they find fault. Every, they're the fault finder. They complain about their spouses. They complain about their jobs. They complain about their finances. They complain about everything. Just about everything they complain about. Whiners and crybabies are just not happy people as long as they insist on seeing the glass half full all the time half empty they see the glass half empty all the time instead of seeing it half full they will never 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 be happy they can get into such a complaining rut but they no longer even recognize how negative they are what a difference their lives would be if they learned to praise God for all the good things in their life. The Apostle Paul set a good example when he described himself in Philippians 4 and verse 11 as having learned to be content no matter what his situation might be. Yeah, God made it very clear about how we how he feels about complaining in numbers 11 and verse 1 you have said that when the people complain it displeased you and in philippians 2 14 and 15 the bible says do all things do all things without complaining and disputing ask god to give you the victory over winning and to help you speak kindly and politely being sensitive to the feelings of others become a positive person and allow god's sweet gentle spirit to flow from your heart may the words of your mouth cease to complain bringing god to continual praise stop complaining and find the time to praise god yes you yeah stop complaining be content with what you have you are fortunate to be alive i am fortunate to be alive you are fortunate mm -hmm. i know you have something to eat this morning and if you don't you have some hope of getting something stop complaining Stop the complaining. I beg you. There are so many people out there who are less fortunate than you are. Look at those insane persons on the street. Right now the rain is falling and I keep wondering where are they? What happened to them? Oh, are they going to get something to eat? Hmm? The rain is coming down again. And I know that somebody needs shelter. Somebody needs shelter. Stop.
complaining all right stop the complaining please may god bless you richie just name